One Good Friday in Kakuma, refugee came in Kenya during the late 90s. I remember some people in the surrounding community started to attack women refugees who went to collect firewood for Good Friday. They saw the women as unwelcome presence and a threat. The women came running back to the camp and the threat commotions and settled everyone. Over the next weeks, people live in fear of what might happen. We were reminded in a graphic way of the suffering of Jesus, who was also seen as a threat by some people in Jerusalem on the first Good Friday. And of the apostle, fear after he was crucified. I am so grateful that everyone in Australia can have their Good Friday without the fear of being physical attacks. What does it mean for most people who have never lived in fear? I have many Australian friends who will never know. What can I say to them that make Good Friday more real? The Apostle Thomas is a good example. Show me or I once believe, he said. This is a common problem for many of the faithful in the world we live in. We have all we need materially, really need anyway. So we do not stand to gain anything in a material sense from believing. Yet in contrast, I came from a people who had nothing materially left to lose and yet put their faith in God to be their strength and guide. And his strength and guide carries us through. Here is an example of what can change through faith. The people of Ukraine, led by a president who is a former comedian and actor, have had almost all the material process ripped away. So the resistance and strength are not based on material things, but on standing together in faith and solidarity to stop injustice overtaking them. Good Friday is the ultimate example of a loving God's power over fear and death. Jesus said, follow me. We each in our own way are called to do just that in Christ. Amen.